Hey, Argyle, we're gonna go meet you. See you there. You really should have already been on your way there, but <laughs> fine. Oh, you know what I just remembered? What? Uh, when we first met Decade here, yeah, he asked us to get him a Nuka Cola, and we had no idea where to find them. Oh. <laughs> we could have come right here. We didn't have to murder him after all. Ah, crap. Was there? Ah, damn it! <laughs> that was Nuka Cola in it. <laughs> Probably didn't need to kill him. Oh, well. Man, I forgot he even existed. Yeah. Shows how important he was. Argyle. It smells like salt in here. Is that weird? And yes, ghouls can still smell without nose cartilage. I didn't know if you knew that or not. I kind of figured. Oh, that's, that's probably a negative then. Because you have to smell your own rotting flesh. They probably just go nose dead to it after a while. You think? I would think so. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing if you're standing in like a cow pasture for an hour. After about the first two minutes, you don't smell cow shit anymore. Uh -huh, fair enough. Anyway, I'm here. What's the next step? So this is an old passageway I used to use, just in case the rest of the building got locked down. Like, well, now. I should have the key right here. Uh, hold on. I gotta fumble around in my inventory. <laughs> Damn, when did I pick up so many tin cans? <laughs> Accurate. Hold on. No. No. No, this can't be happening. Just Check under the miscellaneous shit. tab. Shit, shit, shit. I think I forgot my key card back at the barracks. <laughs> you know what? Stay right here. I'll be back in like half a second. Uh, j just hold down the fort. Okay. We've done that before too. Yeah, it's a common mistake. So, um... See any good movies lately? Legend of Korra, that's pretty good. What? <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> um, weren't you dead? Oh, uh... Well, this is awkward. Uh, I wasn't expecting to run into you here, of all places. How have you been? How the hell did you get in there? What do you mean? Oh, are you referring to the Calamity Complex? There's loads of ways to get in, though I wouldn't recommend any. Anyway, I'm actually glad you're here. The Complex is swarming with Dr. Poultry Guy's minions. They're fighting Disaster's robot security. Sounds to me like any invention that just happens to get caught in the crossfire is in danger, huh? It's gonna be a real shame to lose such marvels. No, that hex cube! We need that! I'm really starting to get the impression that you might be working against me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just being an asshole is all. A, a smug no -well. I just like <laughs> fucking with people. People like you, I mean. Right, that's super. It's Thanks. But I'd never actually fight you. I mean, look at you. Look at all those weapons you're carrying. I was never good at fighting anyway. So if you don't like me, I, I totally understand. But hey, I like you. And I think you're fun to mess around with. <laughs> he is. You're a dick. Why are you really here, though? All right, all right, okay, I'll be honest. I was looking for stuff to scavenge. I guess that makes me a thief, huh? I'm just stealing Dr. D's work. Whatever, I don't give a shit. But the risk wasn't really worth it. Too much chaos. It's not worth the trouble or the bullets. But you seem determined to get in for whatever reason. Oh, here's a neat idea. Why don't you clear out all the threats, and I can come in after you? Then, the place should be free to loot. Besides, Dr. Disaster isn't using this place anymore anyway. Still, if there's anything you find anything of value, I'll be happy to take a look. Uh, wait, if we go in now, how are we gonna let Argyle know what happened? Oh, the ghoul? Oh, I'll let him know when he gets back. After all, I've got nowhere better to be. I was just exploring the facility for myself. Oh, yeah, we I feel like you'll kill him. Yeah. Isn't it weird that you can't contact anybody with a pip boy not not even send a short text message or that something. is really weird actually I find that odd what is he gonna receive it on his face goodbye doc what? why would i say goodbye doc <laughs> he's not the doctor yes yes away with you <laughs> i have better things to do with my time <laughs> so you don't want the new coca-cola farewell au revoir other synonyms for goodbye Good luck, and have fun. There you go. That was the one you were supposed to do first. <laughs> I don't know if we should leave him alive. But at the same time, what has killing him ever accomplished? 
Time to explore the Calamity Complex. A complicated cornucopia of confusing... Oh, there we go. Okay, interrupt my alliteration, whatever. Pew, pew! What? Wow, okay, that worked way better than I thought it No, was. little pink doggies! Ow! The little pink doggies, he just wants to be petted! He just wants to be petted! Wow, this gun is surprisingly effective. Robots! Blue robots! Well, that one took him out fast. <laughs> so, that's a surprisingly powerful gun. <laughs> Just... Yep, this gun is kind of kind of powerful. <laughs> oh, right, the clan. Uh, oh. oh, a signal. It's telling me that it's coming from the Calamity Complex. Yeah, it's me, Do Doctor. Do you still have a working intercom system in there? Yes. Uh, hello? It's me. Uh... We managed to find a way into the Calamity Complex. Excellent. I see that you're very resourceful, finding a way to reach me and all. Do you have the Hypermax yet? No, I don't. Dr. Poultrygeist minions have taken over this place, too. Wait, Dr. Poultrygeist? Yeah. What's he doing here? I don't know. Why is this the first time I've heard about my arch nemesis being in the big empty two? I told you! What are you talking about? We told you we had a major intruder. Yeah, you wouldn't listen. Uh, I thought you were just referring to more gunners. No. Man, I didn't know Dr. P was here. That guy's annoying as hell. And this is me <laughs> talking here, okay? Dr. Poltergeist has a bad habit of stealing inventions. So he's probably after the Hypermax. I'd recommend getting to it first. Still, why did you not specify that it was my arch nemesis? That's like your responsibility as my henchman to warn me about such things. I didn't know he was your arch nemesis. I don't feel like we're getting paid enough to be lambasted by you, Doc. <laughs> responsibility is cool, but there's more things in life, like getting your dick rode all night. That's, uh, yes. That's true. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Eloquently put, Mike. So what's the mission? Where do I go from here? The Hypermax is in the Master Chamber which can be reached by cutting through Lab Omega. But to get in Omega, you gotta get the access key from Lab Delta, as well as shut off the security override in Lab Epsilon. Okay. Yeah, there's a... There's a number of security measures we took. <laughs> Just get moving. I'm detecting plenty of activity all across the complex. Expect trouble. And make it double. I have the utmost faith in you. But just to be safe... I'm gonna try and contact some backup henchmen in case you fail in the field. Like decade, maybe? <laughs> hey! Dr. Demented! What's Niner doing these days? <laughs> oh, God! And Desmond's still alive, right? Can we get a hold of them and see if they're interested in any work? <laughs> Please not. I'm off. We'll, we'll be back. Remember the number one rule of being a henchman. Dying on the job is heavily discouraged. Now go out there and make me proud. <laughs> and sometimes dying on the job is part of the job. Let's keep our head down. Just because we have a powerful gun doesn't mean we gotta use it. Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. <laughs> Alright! Yup, this whole place is hell on Earth. The absence. The hell? Uh, there is an absence of walls. Oh, uh, there's an absence of everything, Mike. It's an absence! That felt weird. Like, for a split second, I was nothing, and then everything. Question the fabric of reality on your own time. We got work to do. What? <laughs> no, 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 no! I don't like the Olympus! No, no, no! <laughs> Let's read the notes on Experiment 100, The Absence. Purpose, to create a pocket dimension. Hypothesis, creating a pocket dimension would be great so that I have more space to store stuff. Observation. Though I was able to create a whole universe that can be accessed just through one door, it turned out to be a ra rather terrifying endeavor. The fact that it is an ever-expanding void of nothingness is rather unsettling, as it turns out, and the fact that it's nothingness that I have created apart from our own physical dimension is disturbing as well. Besides, staring into the pitch-black darkness has taken a psychological toll on me, <laughs> making me feel a sense of dread that drips down my spine whenever I close my eyes and come to face to face with the darkness once more. Conclusion? Let's never go in this door again, okay? 
Seeing as how this is a parody of the Big MT, do you think one of the six doctors at the disaster piece is actually evil? Because in the original Big Mountain, there were five good scientists and one that was trying to destroy them. So out of the six scientists, who do you think would be the traitor? Who would be the scientist that tried to destroy all the other scientists out of Dr. Disaster? Uh, the kid. Y you think the kid? Eh, yeah. yeah, now that you've mentioned it, yeah, definitely the kid. If any of them's a traitor, it's the small child who thinks he's better than everyone. Yeah. Well, it, it could be the woman. She might be sick of her chauvinistic counterparts. But doesn't Dr. Perilous give off an evil clone vibe? It feels like Dr. Perilous would be the evil one by default, right? Maybe, but I kind of doubt it. Otherwise, what's his gimmick? This is, what the hell? <laughs> All right. What the hell is this? It's a guy on top of a helmet. Or it's a woman with a gigantic hoop skirt. Uh, this is, oh, nope. I have returned once again. So you thought that you would never hear me again, that I would be an obscure memory in the back of your mind forever, but you were wrong. For it is I, Dr. Ultraviolet, I have returned. <laughs> That's right. When I first heard of Dr. Disaster's plans to create his own scientific research facility modeled after an old world super complex, I knew that I had to get in on that. So while he wrestles with the weight of his failures and the threat of his nemesis, I stay down here unaffected, unstopped. I intended to siphon resources and energy off his facility so that I can perfect my own, my own creation, the Ultra Tape. Oh no! It's a hollow tape that one can transfer their consciousness into, and once another person reads the hollow tape, the consciousness inside will immediately be transferred into that person's mind. Ha 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 ha! And as luck would have it, this tape contains my consciousness, me, Doctor Ultraviolet. I am in your mind as we speak. Ha <laughs> ha! Jokes on you. I don't have a brain. Though I am incapable of controlling any part of your body, or literally doing anything you can feel at all, I am free to observe your memories and mental data. I can see the things you've done. I have seen the sins you've committed, and I laugh at your feeble attempts to mentally justify them. All your embarrassing secrets, that one thing you're really ashamed of, I'm watching that on repeat. There is nothing you can do, for I am now forever a part of you. So from now on, be sure to do good, for you know that there is always someone watching you, and that person is me. Love. Dr. Ultraviolet. Ah. Uh -huh. All right, well, I guess Dr. Ultraviolet just lives inside my head now. <laughs> Why not? There's room to spare, but he's got to pay rent. No free rides. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, I didn't have a bone to pick with you. Roll my puns. Get back here, unlucky failure. No, please. I'm, I'm so many different things you don't want to be. Oh, hold Mike, on. Mike, shoot it. Shoot it. Mike. What? Mike, shoot it! I'm busy trying to find where we're supposed to go. No, shoot it! All right, cavalry's arrived, whatever. That's not the gun I gave you. Yeah, you're, the gun you gave me sucked. And the security terminal. Lab unlocked, master key still required. Okay, we'll shut off security override to Epsilon Lab. Wait, what? Shut off security override to Epsilon Lab. I don't think that houses security, but okay. Okay, fine. Shut off security override to Lab Delta. It's already unlocked. Fine! God, <laughs> this computer sucks! It's just mouthing off to me! Uh... Oh! No, we have to go to Omega, right? Yes. Yeah, Omega! You've left me with no other choice, Korea! <laughs> What? I introduce you to my greatest invention, Ultimate Fisto, the most <laughs> powerful sex box in the world. No, please. Okay, I, I don't, okay, we'll just take him down. Take him down, take him down. Good night, sweet oh, prince. Jeez, well, there goes my life's work. Great, it's just great. Maybe next time make a robot's not weak to Kool-Aid. The reinforcements are pouring out of the door in front of us. Let's get up there. Oh, we gotta fight our way through some skeleton monsters, though. Do we? It's gonna be a tough one. I don't know if we'll survive. No, Mike, it's it's not even skeleton monsters. It's literally just a shitty turret. Oh, I was being attacked from above. I, I can't look up. Why can't you look up? Because I'm in power armor. Oh, God, power armor sucks. Don't I, wear it. I know, it does. The master chamber! Ah, uh, yes. More like Master Bader. Ha ha, I already made that joke. Uh, oh, is this it? Is this it? The Hypermax! Ooh, experiment number 10, hyperactive maximum energy drive. Experiment number 10, this is one of the earlier ones, I guess. Ooh. Hyperactive maximum energy drive overdrive. Ooh. Purpose, to create an incredibly compact, incredibly potent source of clean energy, akin to a portable Hoover Dam you can carry in your pocket. My god. 
Now, hypothesis, the potential for this device is nearly limitless. It would especially benefit us here at the Big Mountain 2 where everything could just be powered by several of these things. And we could make and sell more models to the wasteland. This may even allow for the creation of macro machines large enough to take entire colonies into space. My god. Observation, the Hypermax clearly works, but the problem is its purpose has nothing to do with the device itself, but with everything else. It doesn't seem like any other machine can handle just how much energy it's putting out. I've tried to hook it up to a force field generator, arguably the largest power consuming device in the crater, and it overheated within milliseconds. I still think that this device can change the world, but first the world has to catch up to it. Conclusion? At this point, it's hard to even demonstrate its power in a physical capacity. I'd have to create a whole new experiment just to prove this thing will work. For now though, the original goal has been accomplished, and there may be a future use for this mechanism yet. Woo! Uh, maybe. Okay, well, we got it. Alright, let's go. Oh, reinforcements, reinforcements, no, evil side, we're being ambushed. Shut up, weeb. Get, 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 get out of here. Nope, nope. Now nah, there's more down there. Fire him from above. It's over, Anakin, I have the high ground. Uh, Chain reaction, nice. Like I said, high ground. Anakin, comma, it's over. <laughs> mm, over which is Anakin, the high ground I have. Mm. Said that wasn't Yoda in that scene, but whatever. <laughs> I don't give a shit because that movie sucks. It is now. Mm, over it is Anakin, I have the high ground. Ooh. Brother like you were to me. Loved you, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did it. Why are things purple now? I don't know. <laughs> this is good. Okay. This is good and fine and fun. I like this. Oh, a throne for you. Oh. 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 I was going to read that note. And then we got clubbed in the head. Why does this always happen to me? How could this happen to me? <laughs> Look, guys, I think you just need to chill out, get in this radioactive goop. And we'll just all have a spa day together. I heard if you cut off the leg of a starfish, the leg will regrow. Hoping my leg regrows too. Also, I heard sometimes the leg regrows into a full starfish as well, so I'm hoping to have a little baby brother. I think that's Turban Myth. Shut up, leg. I know what he asked you. <laughs>